Hey, what's up to whoever's watching right now, man? Um. Hey, Angel, what's up, sis? But. I gotta ask the really. You know, not so much odd question as it is. Eh, fuck it, yeah, it is kind of odd. But I gotta ask the really serious but weird question today. And that is. And actually, just a few minutes ago. But that is, why do I need a record label to help provide for me? Well, the answer to that is actually simple, and that is because nobody takes me seriously. Sweet. But... The reason why I need a record label to help back me is because I'm not rich. I don't have any money. And people are always telling me, you know, like, why don't you start your own label and this and that. Well, believe it or not, I actually tried. And it didn't go so well. I don't have, you know, the marketing knowledge. I don't have the business experience and the know-how to put my stuff out there. You know, successfully. And I've been doing this stuff since 2010. I've been, you know, producing tracks, beats. And I've worked with some pretty good names in the past. But, you know, in the long run, I ended up getting screwed over. I got no pay out of it. And honestly... Like, music's my life. Music is what I do. It's what I do every single day. When I'm not sleeping or chilling out and hanging out with my friends and family, I'm usually here on the computer in my studio in FL Studios 12, Signature Producer Edition, putting in work, getting stuff done. And, you know, like... A lot of people say that I'm selling out because I'm in it for the money, but that's not true. For those of you that are saying that I'm selling out because I'm in it for the money, you got it all wrong. Yes, money plays a huge benefactor for me, but you don't understand the reasoning behind it. See, we're just barely getting by month to month, literally. We are just barely getting by. And it's always been my mom's dream for me to be able to make it in the music industry. Because from an early age, I always had this, just this love for music all around. And when, I'm a little, when I was a little kid, you know, like I didn't know how to get into it. But once I hit high school, I learned how to, you know get into doing it, how to do it, and stuff like that. But, you know, I don't have that knowledge that a lot of people have. I don't have the connections. I don't have the business smarts to, you know, do that type of stuff. And, you know... With me doing different types of music, like melodic scream vocals, rap beats, raps, and more notably, which the one thing I'm more noted for being known for is a lot of my dubstep work. Well, you know, I need a good, honest label that won't screw me over. I worked with the major underground record label, Killer Clown Sounds, back in the day. As a matter of fact, I am actually one of the founding members of Killer Clown Sounds, along with my good friend, still to this day, Eric Scrubbelow. Reason why I left, I wasn't making any money off of what I do. <laughs> oh, you mean the warning scully? And I even got the Colin McRae hoodie and match. But, you know, point being, 
you know, I'm not trying to sell out on anything. I'm simply trying to provide for my family in the best way that I know how using the skills that I have, which is using my voice and producing instrumentals. As a matter of fact, I will play an instrumental for you guys that I just finished up a little bit ago. And I know there's a lot of you out there that do think that I don't, you know, produce my own tracks. So, I'm about to prove you guys wrong right now by showing you my screen on FL Studios. Because I know some people don't believe that I produce my own stuff and this and that. So, here I am to prove you guys wrong. See, there's the screen right there. And you guys can see all the alignments. The screen's up. It's right there. And here's how it sounds. can see it's playing through right now. go that is proof of you know what I do and as I said you know uh, on, guys. as you can see here's the keyboard I can show you guys everything I use I use the toxic biohazard for this part right here I'll play it back and silence the keys see that's the toxic biohazard. And then, of course, you got the piano. And then here's just the regular drum track in itself. Silence both the biohazard and the keys. As you can see, they're both turned off. And see... Turn these back on. But this is just a little insider of how I do my stuff. Like, you know, as you guys can see, I always keep my stuff, like unless I'm doing like a club track or a dubstep track, I either keep it at 90 or 87 BPM. So, for those of you that want to do drum tracks, here's a sample of my setup. This is just a sample of one of my tracks. As you guys see, you know, that's a sample of what I do. And I try to keep it simple because I want to challenge the artist. I want to make them, you know, think outside the box. And a lot of people do not take me seriously because I have no money. I mean, I'm just a simple dude who lives at home and who helps to take care of his mom. I'm not the richest guy on the planet. I don't have any money. I don't have the luxury of, you know, going out and getting a job. 
I don't have the luxury of, you know, going out and having fun and doing whatever I want to do. Like, I don't have that kind of luxury. Unless, I'm not rich. All I have is my skills with creating my music and what I do. That's all I've never known for the last, God knows how many years now. I've been doing music since 2010 and up till now. The reason why I didn't jump onto a record label right out of the gate, because I wanted to perfect my skill. I wanted to master my craft and what I do. And yes, I've worked with some pretty big names in the underground and even through YouTube. More, the more notable one that I just recently worked with is my good friend Six Seconds. He doesn't have a label, but he has connections to where he doesn't need a label. He's able to make money on his own. And the only reason I did stuff for him for free is because the last time we were on Twitch, he gave me a major shout out to my channel, you know, to my gaming channel and all that good stuff. And that really helped me out a lot. So, Six, if you're watching this, shout out to you, bro. Um, but, you know, I've worked with some pretty big names. Like, you know, like I said, you know, I mentioned all six seconds. Um, I've even done some graphic art for NSA Entertainment's Sabo. And if you guys don't know who Sabo is, look up Red Count One Music Group. He's connected to them. So, shout out to you, Sabo. And shout out to Stephen Hobbs, man. I saw his comments in my one live stream, dude. And those comments meant the world to me. So, shout out to you, Hobbs. What's poppin', dude? Can't wait for that new album. That brand new album that you're putting out soon, dude. I'm amped up for that. Like, I'm beyond excited for that. But, as I said, I don't have the luxury... Of being able to work or do things that I want to do. <laughs> I, I will definitely do that. Um, send me your number. That way I can text it. Because I cannot find your number anywhere. So go ahead and send me it into a private chat. And I will text you. But... You know, like, this is what I do every day. I wake up, I grab my coffee, I eat breakfast, I jump on here, and I produce my music. Every day. Even though I don't always put it out there, I'm always working on something. Every day, I'm always working on some kind of musical track. Like, music is my life. It's what I live. It's what I eat, sleep, and breathe every day. And, you know, I want to be able to provide for my family. We're just barely getting by on rent. On top of just barely getting by with car payments. Um, you know, insurance. We're just barely getting by. And, you know, I don't have the luxury of going out and getting a job. So I have to make do with what I have. I don't have that luxury of working. I don't have the luxury of going out and getting a job. Because our roommate, who lives with us, he works during the day. He works during the daytime, and I can't do nighttime. It's way too dangerous around where I'm at. So, you know, doing daytime work is the next best thing, but I can't do that. I can't, you know, go out and get a job because he works during the day. Yes, he has like a couple nights off, but even so, I'm still needed here at home.
Hey, if you were here, Angel, I'd give you some. But for those of you who don't understand why I'm not making it, look at my previous live streams. It's because of these record labels bashing on me. And you want to know why they bash on me? It's because of my physical appearance and how I look. They don't focus on my talent, my skills, and what I have to offer, and what I can ultimately bring to the table. Yes, I confronted them on it. And what did they do instead of acting professionally about it all? They decided to go behind my back and talk shit to all these other record labels that are out there and telling them, hey, don't sign this guy, and this is why. So, you know, like, for that to happen, you know, not only is that I take that, I, you know, not only do I take that as a personal offense to myself, because, you know, that is pretty fucked up, and I do take that personally, what they said about me, but it's also very unprofessional for them to do that. And because of them running their mouths to all these other record labels, telling them not to sign me, it makes it that much harder for me to produce what I do. It makes it that much harder for me to be taken seriously. I can't do independent because I don't have the knowledge of how to do that. I don't have the business skills. I don't have the marketing skills. I don't have any of that. I don't have any connections to be able to, you know, produce music on my own and be successful at it. I don't have that luxury. Some of my friends do. Like my good friend PFV. A lot of you guys might know him. If you ever listen to his song Suplex City, um, Lead Me Home. He did a song with Tech 9 called PTSD. Um, he's worked with guys like my good friend David Gonzalez, also known as Cryptic Wisdom. He's done music with him. Um, he's done stuff with Notebook. Um, you know, he's done our music with, you know, quite a few big names who have actually established themselves. And I've been trying to establish myself as a successful artist. But the only way I can do that is with the help of a record label. Because I don't have the skills needed to be successful on my own. I don't have the knowledge or the know-how to successfully market my stuff to get people interested and say, hey, you know, check out my stuff. I don't have that luxury. I was not able to take business class back in high school. They would not, because the schedule I had back then wouldn't allow for it. And to be honest with you, I didn't get the luxury to graduate high school because of the way the school system is here. It's very messed up. It's very backwards. So I never got that chance to graduate high school, and I never got the luxury to get my GED as much as I wish I could have. Because around here, you have to pay for it. I don't have money to pay for my GED. The money we get is per month is all we get, and that's not very much. Uh, we're living off of maybe, if that, a couple hundred dollars a month, if that. So we're not rich. We don't have any money. I can't afford a lot of these things that a lot of these guys put out. My recording studio is in my bedroom. My recording studio is simply my computer, which I keep FL Studios on, and my microphone and recorder, which is my Kindle. That's all I have. I don't have the luxury to, you know, put out my own stuff. I can't afford to put out my own albums. And when I do put them out, they're very rare, and nobody ever buys them. Why? I don't know. 
I've been asking that question for years. Like, I put out several albums. One of them being my first ever rap album called Between the Lines. It's on YouTube. You guys can go on there and check it out and listen to it. But I don't have the luxury of marketing skills. I don't have the business skill needed to market my own stuff. Okay, I promote a lot of my own stuff, yes, but it doesn't do any good because nobody checks it out. And without marketing, how am I supposed to do anything? Without skills and stuff like that of business and marketing my stuff the proper way, how can I get anywhere? And for those of you asking why would I need a record label to help me provide? Well, let me ask you this. Why don't you help me to get my stuff out there and help me make money? If you're so skilled and so talented, and if you have that market experience, why not lend me a hand? Why not help me find somebody who's willing to take me serious even though I don't have any money. Because that's all people want from me when I'm putting my stuff out is money, money, money. I don't have the luxury of having money, all right? So, the next time you guys try to ask me why I'm not signed, why not ask the record labels and start asking people why they won't sign me. Instead of asking me why I'm not signed, ask these record labels who bash on me for my looks, ask them why they won't sign me. Ask them why they won't take my skills and my craft seriously. I have to make a living. And the only thing that I know how to do successfully is artwork and music. Those are the two things I have going for me. That's all I have. I tried being an author and it did good for a while. But you know, like always, people stole my shit. As a matter of fact, the company I ran through, Lulu.com, I got suspended for. Because somebody decided to take my book that I had self-published and put out for people to buy. They decided to take it and got copyrights on it because I don't have any money. See, with businesses, it's all about money nowadays. And yes, I have my shop, but nobody buys from it. So, how am I supposed to make a living... If nobody takes me serious enough to want to work with me. I'm a music artist. I'm a producer. I'm a vocalist. I put out my own work. But nobody takes me seriously because I'm not becoming successful. And the only way for me to become successful is to get somebody to take me seriously enough to work with me. And say, hey, I want to pay you for what you do. I want to pay you for your tracks. I want to pay you for your vocals. I want to see you be successful. I want to see you win. But until that day comes, you know, how am I supposed to do anything? So with that being said, guys, I'm going to hop off here. I want every single one of you guys to share this around to anybody in the music industry, to anybody who knows anybody in the music world. Whether they're a producer or a vocalist or a rapper, let them know that I am for hire. I am a free agent for hire. Yes, I might not produce the fanciest beats in the world, but one thing I've learned throughout my years of doing music, you don't need a fancy beat to be successful. I don't believe in doing fancy shit. I believe in keeping it simple and straightforward. I believe in challenging the artist. Because some of the hardest beats in the world to work with 
are simple beats. <clears throat> and that is a proven fact. And you can take that to the bank. It is a proven fact that some of the hardest beats to work with are simple beats. Because you have to think on your feet. You got to think outside the box. You got to be quick. You got to know what you're doing with beats like that. Anybody can rip up an intricate beat. Even I can do that. But ripping up a simple beat and being successful at it, that's something that not many have the talent or the skills to do. So if you want good, solid, simple beats that will help you become successful, or if you want fire for a beat, let me know. I can produce beats all fucking day, every day. I can sit here at the computer 24 7, 365 and produce some of the best and some of the hottest beats for you guys. So for all you music artists out there looking for an honest person who's looking to make a little money off of what he does, you're staring at him. And with that being said, I will catch you guys later. And if you guys want any beats, hit me up.